You guys want to know the four the four ingredients of a good fight? Absolutely. I need five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you five. <laughs> well, when we we were doing this research and we found that we, we we had four stacks of studies, and these are the kind of studies that nobody else reads. These are the peer reviewed you know, dusty shelf kind of the studies. The professor type studies, Right, yeah. and, but we're trying to make sense out of this and, and put the cookies <laughs> on the bottom shelf, make it easy to access. And so we came up with CORE, C-O-R-E. And so we have these four things that go into a good fight. The first one is cooperation. You've got to have a cooperative spirit. Right. That's the C, and that's that can be challenging. That can days. be challenging because... Uh, we forget that we are not each other's enemy. We're a team and right. we're working against the threat, which is the challenges coming at us in the face of this pandemic. The O is for? The O is about ownership. And this is where a lot of the self-talk we talked about, where you're owning things. You're not self-pity. You're not trying to blame anyone else. Right. You're saying, how can I, in humility, be a part of whatever will resolve this right, right now. Right, right. Humble pie is a pastry that's never tasty, right? You gotta set aside your pride in order to own some of the chaos. So cooperation, ownership, respect, that's the holy ground of a good fight. Right. As soon as you start, you know, being sarcastic, which is you know, sometimes what we lean into. I have two older brothers, so I sometimes say that was my love language growing up with sarcasm. Yes. And, and it can be subtle. It can be just the, the rolling of the eyes right. can convey that. And then, so C-O-R-E, cooperation, ownership, respect, and? And empathy, which empathy is so powerful, especially coming full circle back to the feelings of anxiety. Whenever I wish, someone empathizes. I wish we yeah. could bottle empathy in the time of this pandemic and just every home would have their own spray bottle of empathy. Oh, Wouldn't that be incredible? Sure. Like, I want you to see it from my perspective, you know? Right. But those are the four things we know from research that really make a difference. And I know that some of our viewers are going, oh, yeah, well, yeah, I, I'm going to do that. The core, the next time I have a fight. No, <laughs> nobody's going to remember that. Uh, you might remember a C-O-R-E when you're just recalling it. But in the midst of a real fight, you don't go, hey, let's do that core thing, right? It just doesn't yeah. work that way. So here's the challenge. And what I suggest to people is think about those four, cooperation, ownership, respect, or empathy, and think about which one you do most naturally. Right. That's what you want to lean into the next time you find yourself in the midst of some kind of conflict. The gift in that is that when you lean into even one, one good choice, it pulls the others along. And remember we talked about how contagious emotions are. Um, it pulls your spouse right to that place with you. So if Wes offers humility right. to me and ownership, I can't help. It's almost irresistible that I would offer it and return it back to him. That's God's gift.